our farm spirit. We do the, what we call the horticultural cuisine of Cascadia, which is to say that we make food out of plants uh, from here. We want to elevate plant-based cuisine to a place where we're not just doing a version of omnivorous cuisine, and we want to make a new repertoire. Custard that is cascaded down on the plate, carrot tartare inside it, carrot aerated juice, and then carrot leaf and flour. This Some toasted hazelnuts, a little shiso and arugula, and a little pickled coriander seed. Enjoy. Is we chop them up, salt them, and we put them in a cloth bag and we let them just kind of hang and drink. And the juices just come out and pass through a fine paper filter. So it has a beautiful this tomato flavor, a great balance of acidity. This is For this next course, we have some blueberries and cucumbers, along with the celtus, which is the other vegetable there. It's a lettuce that's been cultivated for its stem rather than for the leaf. We'll put a little sunflower yogurt. So it's a yogurt made from a milk of sunflower seeds. And then a little purslane, a uh, dill, and lemon balm. Enjoy. So it has a really nice, like, kind of juiciness to it. We have a crumble of alliums, that's onion and garlic, that though they have been compressed in vinegar and dehydrated, and then served alongside a crumble of fermented sunflower seed puree. How is it? <laughs> We have in front of you here some braised lobster mushrooms with some sprouted grains so with a little corn and tomato green bean ragu and some black garlic meringue. The leaves on there are pineapple sage. We have in front of you here a little intermezzo of beverage. It is a golden raspberry keeper. We just finished dinner and that was honestly the best meal that I have ever had in my life. Like I was seriously savoring every single mouthful and the food was so beautiful and you could just tell so much time and effort was put into the food and it's just so inspiring and it really inspires me to want to get back into the kitchen and create awesome things and we had the opportunity to talk to chef Aaron afterwards and he's just such an inspiring person and it was really cool to hear his story and how he started this restaurant only about a year and a half ago and he was saying how the goal with farm spirit is to create food that's not an imitation of meat product but food that really Really emphasizes the natural beauty and flavors of fruits and vegetables because we don't need to try to imitate products that we don't need in our lives but we can celebrate the wonderfulness and the beauty of the plants and stuff that we already have and there really is no need for animal products I think I'm going to end the vlog here again thank you all so much for watching I really appreciate it and if you are ever in the Portland area I highly recommend you check out this restaurant I will seriously be dreaming of it for days to come all right Thanks guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.